Yo, yo, yo! Welcome back to another episode of Shy Boys Podcast. On today's episode, we gotta let y'all know about Zach Levine comments on not being selected on the All-Star team. He was real about it, too. And then we gotta just talk about this ridiculous trade proposal from ESPN. <laughs> Me and C-Dub gonna break it out. But y'all know y'all gotta hear this music first. Cone, yeah. Cone, yeah. Shy Boys Podcast with the Cognac Boys. I'm Cognac Boy Bobby, and I'm with my dog, c Dub. How you doing, boy? Man, I'm feeling good, man. We got us coming off that dub from yesterday. Let's go, baby. Oh, bro, if y'all like what y'all listening to, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. c Dub, we already know. DeMar DeRozan, not DeMar DeRozan, no stupid. <laughs> Zach Levine, my guy has he he has not been selected to the All Star game. He know we know his partner Demar Derozan was selected to the All Star game. And shout out to Zach Levine for being honest about what it was that he was not selected to, which was the All Star game. He said, "I didn't feel like I played at an All Star level at the beginning of the season. That's coming back off of injury. I started slow and then started picking it up. I'm where I'm supposed to be at now. I know uh who I am as a player." I think the league knows that too. What are your initial reaction to that? All right, man. I love when somebody can judge themselves fairly, man. It's, it's. I don't even think I judge myself fairly, so that's great when it comes Amen. to Zach Levine. So, uh, <laughs> I give him kudos. Self evaluation in a in a in the fairness of terms with Zach Levine because he's absolutely right. He started off this this season slow as hell, but he has been picking it up for the last couple months. But his first month was abysmal. People were ready to call him a but people were ready to call him a bust and everything. But I appreciate the honesty from Zach Levine, man. He really maturing as a basketball player, man. Maybe oh, he bro. was younger. He was like, they they, they bogus as hell. They didn't take me to the all-star game. But self-evaluation in its purest form, on the honest, on the on the most honest, honest way, is I, I gotta agree to that. You can't do nothing but respect it. Um, bro, you can't respect it. You know, I mean, you can only respect it. Only Let me say that. You can only respect it, my guy, for looking at himself in the mirror and say, no, I, did, I didn't start this season off playing well. You know what I'm saying? I, I he, he he wasn't that good. You know what I'm saying? He, he got an average about 26, 27, you know, from the last year. And then he came into this year and started with 20 points. So his points were down. But now he's gotten that back up. And I will argue, over the last month, he's been the best player on the Bulls. Not the, not the most consistent. I would say the best player. He, he's, he's been worth – I mean, we still have bonehead mistakes, but he ain't the only one having dumbass mistakes yeah, within the month of January. <laughs> it's him his, and all his uh co-players too. Oh, it's bro. the team. They, they all been doing dumb stuff, and it starts with the coach he been tweaking too. But I got another quote I want to jump into as we progress through this thing. He said, I think we – he said, I think we need it. We need to be in a better position for us to have two or three guys in the All-Star game. Mm. I think we're sitting at 10th right now. That's not good. I think the bigger picture, you're not worried about the All-Star game. You're trying to get your team back into the playoff picture. What do you say about that? Oh, man, that's just more maturity, man. We watching Zach Levine grow up in front of our eyes, bro. Maybe if he was younger, he was like, man, it don't matter. As long as we playing good basketball, put us in the All-Star game. Just like I said before in my previous statement. Honest self-evaluation is signs of uh, maturity in a basketball player, and I appreciate that from Zach Levine. Hey, man, Super Clean Levine, this your team, man. Continue to progress in the way that you're doing, and you will have less and less doubters, even though we don't care about the haters. You know what I'm saying? Yep, and shout out to my guy Jay Capone. We put them hater blockers on, y'all. Block them haters out, y'all. Shout out Jay Capone. But, man, I think the comments, bro, is just – it's pure honesty, bro. You can't expect multiple people, multiple all stars to come from one team if you suck. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what it really is. Yeah. And, and shout out to him for looking at the bigger picture. You know what I'm saying? The bigger picture is getting into the playoffs and making a push. Yeah. Let's see what the Chicago Bulls could do because I believe that the, they they in ninth right now, and I think they out of two games out of eight or something like that. Uh, seven. Six. Yeah. Seven. seven. Yeah. yeah. So. You know what I'm saying? It's just about that push. That's and unbelievable, nephew. That's right. Unbelievable. The, how bad we been? Yeah, that is crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day right now, the Chicago Bulls, they need to be trying to go ahead and grab some momentum, heading into all-star break, rest up, 
get healthy. You know what I'm saying? As healthy as they can be because every game after All-Star break is essential. Well, for the Chicago Bulls, a team that's under 500, every game is essential and important right now. So. Every single one. Goes to Ayo, Ayo little group text that he texted the team. Hey, man, we can't lose none of these games. We got to win all these games. It got to be uh, – Everybody hand in hand, uh, locked in together. Like this final push got to be ugly, bro. We need the best stretch of basketball after this all star break. The best stretch in two um, years, bro. In two um, years, bro. we need the best stretch, yes. Because right now, yesterday, they man, they went down 17, came back guns blazing, went on a 20 to 4 run to close the gap and take the lead. And they was doing their thing, and it was all led by super clean Levine. So, kudos to him and shout out. Shout out Billy Donovan and all other players, too, because, yeah, Billy, we get on our damn nerves. But at the end of the day, we seen that in the final minutes of the fourth quarter. We seen Zach Levine initiate offense, and they got Vooch involved. That's yeah. coaching, and that's player execution. So shout out to them for that. Hey, also, I want to shout out Andre Drummond, man. Hey, yeah. this 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 little mystery, Billy, Billy Donovan, whatever you got going on, bro, this should have answered it the last couple of days. We don't want to see long stretches with Andre Drummond, DNP, bro. We don't want to see him do not coach's decisions for a long time. That's just bullshit. Put Facts. this man on the on the floor, bro. Yeah, and he should be on the floor in the next game coming up against the Spurs with Yaka Perdo, and I think they got another big man down there, and in the Memphis Grizzlies game. So yeah. he's no, and he should not have a DNP in the next two games. So stop yeah. playing, Billy. Get it together. Let's yeah. go. And shout out to Drummond for making Billy look like a bozo. Like a bozo. Um, bro. <laughs> But uh, moving on along, before we get up out of here, we got to talk about ESPN's ridiculous Bulls trade proposal. They said, (laughs) from ESPN, (laughs) the Bulls should trade to the Toronto Raptors, Kobe White and Lonzo Ball for Fred Van Vliet and Malachi Lynn. That is ridiculous. I'm a t- See Dub, go ahead and I'ma go because they tweaking, bro. <laughs> I'ma take I'ma take uh some words from one of my favorite shows and one of my favorite comedians from back in the day, Damian Wayans. Uh no. Nah. No way. <laughs> you crazy as hell on both ways, it doesn't work. Why would you why would the uh Toronto Raptors take Lonzo Ball? You don't know what you're gonna get. Kobe White is decent, but I think uh Van Bleed is a way better player. Me on the Bulls' end, I don't like Van Bleet on his team. He's a little bit small. He's a great offensive player, but defensively, we're going to go backwards again. I'm good with Ayo Dusumu. You got to be better than Ayo Dusumu if I'm going to trade for you or you're going to be a, uh, the starting point guard. And he, I don't think – offensively, he better than Ayo, but Ayo way better defensively, especially of late. He's been a lockdown defender late on oh, bro. Oh, so, bro. no. Yeah, I get you on that one, but I just I just got to throw this out there. Do ESPN just hire anybody to Quota. put trade proposal together? Because <laughs> I could put something better than that together. Quota. Because at the end of the day, do they, do they not know who Masai Ujiri is? Masai Ujiri is the guy that traded DeMar DeRozan for Kawhi Leonard for one year. He knew he was only getting him for one year, but he did it anyway and got him a championship. Oh, bro. Do y'all not know that he fired – a good coach in Dwayne Casey was like, nah, you ain't getting us over the hump and brought a new guy in <laughs> and helped him get the championship. Whoa. You got to be an idiot to accept this trade, bro. Like Unc said, Lonzo Ball is injured. He ain't playing. He ain't playing no we time soon, know. in my opinion. <laughs> we just you, and know. you really, and I, if we be honest, we really don't know because I'm not a medical <laughs> physician. I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not in those meetings with Lonzo Ball. I'm just going out pure speculation for me. But at the end of the day, no, 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 it's just it just <laughs> wouldn't happen, bro. You know, they got I don't see clothes. it happening at all. Not for two a two player swap with no other incentives involved, like draft picks or something like that for Fred Van Vliet. Yeah. No, nah, I don't see it, bro. That is and, ridiculous. And he's not bad. Fred Van Vliet, like Blair, but not like on this him. team. Not on this team. I don't think I so. like him. I think I think he'll be nice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I, d- d- I just don't see this proposal happening at all. Bro, at all. No way. Like it's gonna be if, a lot of that before the trade in deadline. It's yeah, gonna be a lot just, of this shit. Yeah, they just throwing things out of there just to get people to say stuff, and they got us to say stuff because I'm ESPN. They tweak. Oh, oh bro. <laughs> Go ahead, get your final thoughts so we get hey, out of here, bro. 
Hey, uh, Zach Levine, uh, I appreciate the honesty, and uh, we straight on that on that damn tray, y'all. They gotta fill them quotas, but we gonna be here to shoot it down, <laughs> blink it down, on, target bro. acquired, <laughs> <laughs> as Big Cam say. Shout out oh, to Big bro. Cam, oh bro, oh, bro, hold it down with us. Hey, but it is what it is. My final thoughts is, hey, let's be prepared. Let's get ready for this playoff push. Zach Levine, shout out to you for being mature, being a leader. And uh, let's keep chugging along. Bad it up. But if y'all like what y'all listening to today, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. If you want to be a part of our mailbag episodes, hit us up on that number. I know it's number, but over here we say number. <laughs> 773-242-9219. And don't forget about the live calls with C-Dub. Live call every game. If he ain't there, I'm here. If I ain't here, be careful here. It's busting. We're going to call the games. That's what it is. Go ahead and subscribe and hit the noti- hit the notification bell so you can get notified and join the crew. Look, we throw on the Caroline shades for every win, and you can join the party. <laughs> you can join the party one day. But all right, y'all, we're going to get up out of this thing. We're going to catch y'all on the next one. Cognac. Cognac.